Hi, it's Megan. I bit the bullet and um, bought some Tom Ford beauty makeup. This to me, price point wise, is a little bit higher than I'm comfortable going. But I do make the videos and I figured I could try Tom Ford once and the new autumn 2014, fall 2014 collection looked like a good one to try out. First of all, kind of the pre-buzz was really, really positive. Next of all, it's more of a neutral, nude sort of a look. And so it's more usable on a daily basis, which given the price point is a big plus. And then also they had a product that intrigued me. So I really like playing with highlighters and bronzers and I really like kind of shaping and playing around with all that on my face. Uh, but they had this amazing, they call it the, well I have the color stroke, it's a contouring cheek color duo. It's $77 and it is, how many ounces? 0.7 ounces. So it's big. That's a lot bigger than a lot of like products. Cute Tom Ford box, like a really dark brown with gold. And then you get an amazing pouch like this, which is also brown. And then you get this beautiful beautiful compact which has fingerprints all over it. I cleaned this right before starting the video. I just, I cannot keep these clean. They're beautiful though, um, but I can't keep them clean. Then you get a great mirror which is Tom Ford which I'm not going to show and then you get these. These are really nice size products. So if you figure they're $77, um, you are getting, I mean this is like a decent value actually. Not cheap though. And so what you're supposed to do is create sculpted cheekbones using the lighter pearlescent shade to highlight and the deeper matte shade to add definition and structure. So highlight with the shimmery one and then the other one is matte. And let me show you, I have outdoor swatches. This is the, and okay, look how pigmented that goes on. That was just one swipe, one swipe in the pan, one swipe on my wrist. And so this is kind of, um, it's a muted medium orange brown and I wouldn't say it's a peachy brown, maybe a little bit of pink in there but not so much. And it has more of a sat satin matte than a full matte finish personally. I saw I thought I saw a little bit more than just matte looking at it. Um, and I'm going to explain how you can use this in a second. First I'm just going to show you the colors. There are two different ones of this contouring cheek color duo and I got what is the lighter one but which also more orange. There's also one which is kind of like deep, deep rich plum which I haven't seen in person but I've seen online and it just looked a little dark for me personally. The next one is this really beautiful it's kind of like a peachy really peachy shimmery highlighter. Uh, a little frosty um, not quite to the metallic level but you can see again how pigmented it is. It does almost have like a beige undertone to it, but it's definitely, both of these are definitely warmer shades, obviously. I mean, look at them. They're definitely in the warm. And from what I understand, the highlighter on them is either very similar or the same. I got this at Neiman Marcus. I ordered it over the phone. And I had a wonderful salesperson. And she said when she looked at them, they looked the same. But I've read on reviews that they're slightly different. So I don't know. Um, and I guess these are like blowing out of stores. So by the time I get there, probably will be gone. So... I was amazed at the texture of these. First of all, just that kind of pigmentation is really impressive, but all of the products that I got blended beautifully. Like you almost don't need to blend if that makes sense. Sometimes with these darker colors that are this pigmented, they kind of just sit on your skin. I have a dry skin. They kind of soak into my skin in a way somehow, I don't know, and I can't blend them that easily. These almost blend when you put them on your face, which is a really good thing because they are so pigmented. I also used the highlighter shade I didn't hear. And I didn't get that kind of weird highlight look where you have like this obvious shimmer there. As I'm looking at the camera though, you can see this is a super shimmery highlighting powder. So if you've got bad skin, it might not be the best for you. The fact that the blush though and the contour is kind of a matte, satin matte, makes it a lot more usable. So I basically think there are two ways of using this. And okay, so what did I say? blendable, a little bit shimmery on the highlighter front, amazingly smooth, blendable texture. It's just really finely milled, um, impressive. 
they lasted about 10 hours on me, which was great. And then I also felt like the blush in particular just made my face come alive, um, which a lot don't. So there's just something about the colors in these that work really well, at least on my skin tone. And I always judge, that to me is like the final judge of a makeup brand. Lots of colors look pretty in the pan, but some makeup brands seem to be a lot better at actually applying that so that when it goes on the skin, it's really flattering. And this I wore, I went running this morning at 5.15 or some ridiculous hour. I put this on tired and I felt like my face really brightened and woke up. So how to use it, two ways. What I did for this video, because I really wanted the blush shade to show, I can wear this kind of a color as a blush. Um, it might be too warm or too brown for some, too orange even. I can wear it as a blush. So, to use it as a blush, I just did this. And then the highlight, I did this little brush and I just dotted it right up here and right in here. And if you don't have any makeup on like this morning when I was going out running, I just dotted some of the highlight on my lids too. It was very pretty. But I think the way that they mean for it to be used, and I haven't seen them actually, meaning Tom Ford post a video on this, the way I think they mean when they talk about creating cheekbones, and I did try this yesterday and it worked. So you take a brush, a smaller brush like this, and kind of a bronzer brush. You can use either one depending on how good you are to light touch. And then you just dot the orange, kind of like this, as a highlight right under the cheekbones. And then you take this right here and you dot it like this. If someone wants me to do a video just actually showing that, I'm happy to do it. It'd probably be just like a three minute video. It wouldn't take very long. Um, I'll do it. Otherwise, we'll suffice with that. I hate to say it, but this product is really great. I really would have loved to have said, oh gosh, total waste of money. You shouldn't do this. But I think occasionally, I have to get to know the brand a little bit more, but I think occasionally if they continue making products like this, and I read online that this is not as pigmented as some of their blushes are, which just like amazes me, um, I'm probably going to budget to do an occasional Tom Ford product here and there. And of the stuff I got, this particular thing, the Contouring Cheek Duo, was my favorite. So sad to say it's a great product really beautiful on really an amazing natural look I left it a little darker just so you could see it the only thing I would say if someone doesn't like super shimmery highlighters or has bad skin and can't wear a super shimmery highlighter don't do it and then also if you got super cool skin tones you would go want to go with the other one not this one this one's probably too warm for you other than that it's really great um any thoughts comments if anyone has the other color of this product I would love to hear and please subscribe on YouTube. And then I also just, I have a new book out. It's a terrorist novel called Escape. And it's on Amazon. If you like terrorist novels, please get it. If you don't, then I wouldn't. Thanks. And I forgot, I'm going to do videos on the lips and the eyeshadow palette too.